What's up everybody? It's Mr. Biggs with Limetime Garage and today we finally got the Cutlass over here to NV Carburetor. Really cool spot. This was recommended uh, by my buddy Tony from one of the smog shops that we went to. Uh, so they work on carburetors here and they're going to break it down a lot faster than I ever could. So you know sometimes you, you, when it comes to specialty stuff you just gotta let the, the pros handle what they do so anyways we're here uh, we got the car here the car is running great no issues no problems um, it's just you know I'm gonna be so happy not having to worry about that anymore just getting in the car go you know what I mean and driving to the next spot so uh, after this hopefully we can go take it over to Tony have him work on it get it to pass smog and we should be good uh, but there's some cool cars that are here too Cool little Chevelle right there. There's something hiding under there. That's old school. So it's pretty cool. They have like Mustangs here, old trucks, everything with a carburetor. It comes, you know, to a place like this. So it's uh, it's really cool. Uh, all you guys are with the square bodies. Definitely a lot of square bodies here. So I love the square body trucks and, and whatnot. Uh, so anyways, we're going to uh, wait for Spanky to pick us up, and uh, we go see. If we can help him out with something. And then we'll come back and pick this up whenever it's done. So we don't know yet. It's probably going to be about three, four hours. So uh, I either hang out here or I'll kick it with Spanky. So we don't know yet. Uh, but we'll find out soon. So as I'm sitting here talking, you know, telling you about what's going on for today, we had a real cool car pull up. Now this is something you don't see that often. Toyota MR2. OG MR2. It's really cool. It's nice. This guy to take a lot of time. An effort to make it look really nice man and uh, like I said we'll do a little quick walk around the car because we just don't see them that often but uh, check it out it's real cool it's hard to find that little car yeah everything on this car is super yeah, hard to somebody find somebody told me the little thing in the top yeah it, it make a little more value in the car I don't know if it's true but yeah absolutely and it has a sunroof yeah and it has a sunroof Woo! So he's just like everybody else. He's trying to put his car together best he can. And, uh, That's you know, this is probably one of the cleanest MR2s I've seen in a while. Um, original engine plant. Yep. You know, it's, uh, it's cool to see it like this. We don't usually see them original. We see them highly modified. Of course, yeah. So, I'm trying to keep it more original like I can. Yeah. But, you know, of course, if you want more power, you didn't need the things. All the rally guys love that. They love the little <laughs> covers. And then even check it out. He's got the Toyota visor in the back. How many people right now would drop a lot of money for that? Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> I see it. That right there is cool. That is <laughs> real cool. The thing what I like is, because you were on the back over here, you look like the Toyota. Right oh, yeah. You see? <laughs> is that awesome? That's the old school stuff that we like, that we, yeah. we talk about and we love. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, real quickly, I just want to show him the interior. Now, he's not done with the interior, obviously, but... He's, uh, he's got the seats, they're in pretty good condition. And he was able to find door cards. And he's got all kinds of cool little options in here. But this is really unique. This is something you just don't see, man. And uh, you know, I appreciate you letting me show no, this no, off. Man. I'm more than happy to. Yeah. If time somebody says, hey, can I take a video? Yeah, so this I is did. the owner. It's really cool, man. And uh, I, I love the car. And like I said, when I grew up with these, this one I always admired. Even the newer ones too. You know, I I really like this because of the sound. I see this car barely well, out from the Guatemala, uh -huh. but back in my country, the first time I see something like that was in '92. Yeah, it was man. If you see somebody with this kind of car, you're like, oh my gosh, she's yeah. got a Lambo. Oh yeah. man, you know. Yeah. And as soon as I see, it, it's just like I'm in love. Wow. You know, I want one of those. Like, That's maybe awesome. Maybe 20 years, 25 years later. Yeah. I got a chance to have one of them. Just like my car, right? <laughs> I want one of those. I told you guys in the video, I want one of these, I want one of these. And then <laughs> later on in life, you get one. So yeah, yeah. thank you again for, for sharing your car no, and your no, beautiful no. work of art. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, you know. Yeah. yeah. Of course, I got a more better stereo. I got a nice interior, but it's, yeah. you know, step by step. Yeah, it's step by step, little by little. You could eat an elephant a bite at a time, <laughs> right? A bite at a time, so. Anyways, we're gonna head to the next spot, but I just want to show off this cool car, man. Thank, Thank you. you. So, much. so she's all taken apart. These guys are really quick with this stuff. 
they definitely know what they're doing, you know, and, you know, you could spend some time and do this yourself, but it's best to give it to the professionals because they make this work look super easy. So, it's pretty cool. They've got a lot of cars that just pull up here and uh, they, get to, they get to work on them real quick. But uh, I'll tell you, these, these kits, getting in, like it's like a lost art, you know? Not that many people want to mess with carburetors anymore. So, I am appreciative of that because, you know, it's definitely something that takes me a long time to do. I couldn't do it in three hours like these guys. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, the bandit just pulled up with the fire chicken. But yeah, um, spots like this, you're going to run across cool cars, you know, all the time. Like that guy with the MR2. I was telling him, you know, like, you know, this, you don't see that often. So it's kind of cool that it's here. But uh, we definitely, we like to see them when they come out. So. Let's go check out some more. What's up, you guys? So we just got done with the carburetor. The car runs amazing, amazing. So shout out to NV, uh, N and V carburetor in the city of Bellflower. That place, they know how to work on carburetors, man. It's like a dying breed for sure, for sure. So we got the Cutlass over here. We're on the freeway and we're noticing a little bit of vibrations going on, like little, you know, kind of weird stuff going on. I know for a fact that this car has been kind of chilling for a while. So one of the things I wanted to do was get the wheels off the car and uh, go get them balanced. You know what I mean? Get them checked out, get them balanced. So your car is going to run a million times better if you balance your wheels. And especially when you're on the freeway, you know, the, the rear ends, you know, it's a rear wheel drive car. So you can kind of feel a shimmy a little bit, right? And on the front, when I'm driving the steering wheel, it's kind of shimmy a little bit, right? When I'm like hitting a brake, it starts to dip, a little shimmy there. So by getting your tires balanced and rotated, you're gonna be ready to go. And so none of that stuff will happen anymore. Plus I got the full size in the trunk. So the trunk is gonna be like, it's gonna be good once I get that. Now, the cool thing is we're here at Selena's Tire and Wheels. This shop used to be an old American tire shop, like, I don't know, 10 years ago or whatever. But this was my spot that I would take all of my cars to to get the tire stuff rotated. So it's a little added bonus for today, you know what I mean? But for 10 bucks a wheel, 10 bucks a wheel, they're gonna balance out your wheels and get you straight, get you rolling good. So that's really cool, I can't wait. We're gonna get it inside there, but I wanna show you some of the wheels they got inside. These, this place has so much more rims and wheel options than I've ever seen before. So it's really cool. I like how they, they changed it up. So we'll go inside, we'll go check it out, and then we'll put her in here and see what's going on. As you can see, it's way different from what it used to look like. And this is cool because there's so many options for your truck, your car, whatever you got, man. Like they got them. They got like big size wheels, small size wheels. I mean, check this out. For all the import tuner guys, they got truck wheels galore. Man, this would be something cool to put on the Tacoma. You know, some of these really, really badass wheels. They got some wheels right here for the cutlass if you want to put some big wheels on them. Ooh, but I need some deep dish for sure. I need deep dish for sure, for sure. But man, some of these, oh, look at that, old school. This is really cool. They definitely have some really nice looking wheels. You know, I like this kind of stuff and give me options as I'm like picking out what I want to do for my car. So, man, look at this crazy blue, that would look nuts. That would look nuts on the cutlass, man. <sighs> Type in below what kind of wheel do you think I should do. Uh, I definitely want to do something like chrome. Uh, something with a little bit of a lip. Uh, but I don't want to be so freaking big, you know what I mean? Like some of these guys, they do monster truck wheels, you know? And I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. But uh, I'm thinking about something like a little bit like this. But this is obviously huge. This is real big, but... I don't know, what do you think, 22, 24? Tell me what you think, type below. But, you know, maybe like a machine billet front? That would be dope, that would be really cool. But anyways, we'll get back outside and see what the, the car is doing, what it was looking like out there. All right, so we're just now getting the car tires off. They're gonna rotate them. I know the, the tires are old, the rims are old, but 
you know, we're gonna do what we can with them for now until I can get uh, address that later. I'm gonna have some wheels for it later, but at least we'll be able to drive with it when it's not wobbly so much on the freeway. Um, so we're trying what we can do. We're trying to do what we can with the with the little that we have now, but they do need to be balanced for now. So uh, they like to upsell you, you know, to get tires and stuff. I get it, but at the same time, you know, just be leery because you got to be able to like. You know drive the car you know what i mean like now that it's you it can drive really well it wants to go faster so when you go on the speeds on the freeway you got to make sure it's not wobbling everywhere because it just is not something i want to deal with so but anyways we'll uh we'll try to wrap up here we'll take it back to the garage and call it a day it's been literally all day i'm tired i'm hot it's three o'clock in the afternoon just uh it's a long time so but we're almost done we're almost done for the day so we didn't do a wrap-up video from earlier today but uh you know all in all things are good we did the uh, carburetor got it rebuilt uh wanted to give you a shout out to those guys so this place is uh noel and victor they have their own carburetor shop in the city of bellflower i'll post this information in the video so you guys can have it if you need to work on your carburetor and you're local they're definitely the people to do carburetors because they are awesome so also uh, while I was there uh, I stopped by another local shop in the same center is Steve with uh, grind time yeah grind time auto restorations so he's a, a body uh, restoration kind of guy paint body uh, so to speak does good work uh, he's working on some really cool cars there he has a cutlass he was working on and uh, somebody's uh, hood he was doing they didn't want to film over there so you know i didn't spend much time there but carburetor runs great no hesitation really really awesome you step on it just goes really freaking fast and just it's awesome so just so uh, gonna end the the night over here um didn't have time to end the video over there at the other location but um we, we figured i'd do it over here so after we got out of the carburetor place, um, I noticed that you can go a lot faster on the freeway now because the the uh, car can go real real fast. So as I'm going on the freeway, there was more wobbles. So I was like, ah. Oh. So I had to go and get the wheels balanced. But now the wheels are balanced, the carburetor's running good, and it's just awesome. So that's the the next beast we're going to be tackling. But um, I probably won't be doing much filming of that I just wanted to explain out here because uh, I didn't have any time to do it while I was leaving and uh, you know when you're done you wanted to get a shower and just get the heck out of town you know so that's all I did I just showered up and got out of there so anyways it was a good day and uh, we're gonna be doing some more more works of the car uh, next week I think uh, when we get a chance to smog it so it should pass the thing is run really really nice all right until then Catch me in traffic.